it's a very realistic story of a woman trying to survive. Um, and what I say by realistic is, you know, in today's movies and, and media, we see so many uh, stories uh, of female empowerment where they essentially become superheroes. And that's fun. There's nothing wrong with those types of stories. I enjoy watching those stories myself. Um, but if you're looking for reality and, re and a realistic portrayal of what a, an average person would be like in this situation, that's not what you're going to see. Um, you're going to you're going to see a woman have to use not so much her strength, a physical strength, but her mental strength, her um, her ability to uh, manipulate. Um, and, and again, not necessarily in a bad way, but in a way that allows her to survive in a situation where physically she may not be able to overpower the people in, in this in you know that are that mean to do her harm. And that's very much what we have in duress. And that's one of the things that drew me to it. Realistic depiction of violence is something that I haven't seen in community theater. I, you know, you see it in professional theater a lot, but they have the resources to do that. Um, within community theater, you don't always have those resources. So uh, I'm really excited to see that we're gonna be bringing an, an, an extra level of realism to this show. And it's very, very rewarding. You have this wonderful story within duress of this woman who has been placed in this absolutely atrocious situation, and and unfortunately throughout the dura the duration of the show has some some true terrors, some true horror visit upon her, but she doesn't let it break her, and she doesn't let it define her in in that moment. She chooses how to define herself based off of what happens to her, uh, and I think it's a very powerful message that even in the darkest of moments that it is possible, maybe not for everyone, but it is possible to still be able to see your way through. And like I said, I find it a very realistic depiction of what a situation like this might play out as in real life. Angela and I are both very passionate about this, her because it's her baby, she wrote it, and me because I, again, I, cl I just had a clear vision of what this show could be um, when I first read it. So, and I, and I wanna see my vision come to fruition and I wanna see her vision come to fruition. Please come out and see Duress. Uh, it is a show that you will not forget, uh, and I think it's important to support local playwrights. Um, it's very easy to go see a show when you recognize either the name of the show or the name of the author. It's very difficult sometimes to go out and, and support a show with somebody that you've never heard of. But from my own experience, some of the best shows I've ever seen have been from local playwrights because you, you're typically getting a, a perspective that you don't see all the time. 